Welcome back. In this video, we'll actually get the pickups to be picked up. And so what we need to do is modify some of the code. Now, what we're going to do is just go back to our, so if we go back to our assets here, to our um, uh, scripts, we're going to put this onto the uh, marble controller. And so what's going to happen is that as the marble touches the pickup, it will detect that it's touching and then be able to make the pickup disappear. So this is relatively straightforward here. Um, so that we're going to actually, like I said, go to the marble controller and do, 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 do. we're going to sort of come down below the fixed update. And then we're actually going to create a new collision or sorry, a new, a new uh, function. And this function is called on trigger enter. And so I think we can just sort of start to type that trigger enter. And there it is there. And all this other stuff sort of pops in. Now, the idea with on trigger enter, um, we're going to talk about a trigger. Trigger is kind of like a, a sensor. And so when the, um, basically the, the colliders of the sphere and the pickup touch, then it will send sort of like a message, basically send a little signal and say, hey, they've collided. The thing that it's collided with will be called the other. So because this is on the marble or the player, um, the other is going to be the pickup. And then we're going to check to see if what it's touching is actually the, um, the, the, the pickup. And if it is, we're going to make that pickup disappear. So that's kind of the idea here. So the code isn't too bad. So I'm just going to come into here, make sure you're between the parentheses, just give us a little bit of space. And so what we're going to say is if that other, oops, if I can spell other right, dot game object, and then there's something here we can actually check, which is dot compare tag. So we're going to check its tag, which we'll talk about in a second, and we'll give it the name pickup and make sure, you know, at least you're consistent with your spelling there. What we're going to do is make that other game object kind of disappear. So I'm going to do is other dot game object dot set active. So this is a property of it. And just like it says there, we're going to set it to false. Okay. Now, Let's sort of save this and then sort of come back to it in a minute once we make a couple changes to make sure that this will work. So I'm going to save it, go back to Unity. I have to make a couple little changes to um, the, the pickup itself. And so I can do that on the, um, you know, onto one of these individually, or I can do it onto the prefab. We'll do it onto one individually. Uh, which one should I do it with? Let me just see if I, if I rotated this around. There's my camera there. Okay, so I just want to see. So, whoops, I guess for this is going to be from the camera's perspective. So, if I'm taking from the camera's perspective, let's just modify one here that's relatively close. So, the one to the right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and you'll notice up at the very top, there's something called a tag. And so, I'm going to change that. I'm going to come in, and, not, and so it's untagged at the moment. You can see there's a few pre preset tags. Well, we're going to make a new one. So, I'm going to add a tag plus. And then I'm going to call that pickup, making exactly sure that I spelled it and capitalized it the same way. If you don't, it's not going to work. I'm going to save that. Now, what's a little bit strange is that when I come back, it's still not tagged. So you have to go back in. You just created a tag. You have to tag it. Now, that in itself is actually not going to work. Um, so even though it's tagged, Okay, and it's moving a little bit slow. I think that's because I got the time dot delta time on it. I'm gonna have to change. It still doesn't disappear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have this on the box collider. We have this thing called is trigger. So it's a true or false. It's a Boolean value. We can set that to true. So with that little check mark, check mark, then it's a trigger. That will allow the on trigger to work. Um, if you don't have that set to a trigger. It's not operating as a trigger. It's simply operating as a collider. So we want to make sure that it is acting as a trigger. I'm going to go back and just sort of modify my marble here because I think with that time dot delta time, I need to bump up my speed a little bit here. Let's make that 50 or something. I'm going to hit play again and see how that does. Still a little slow, but that's better. So now you can see it disappears. Now, of course, the other ones won't because they are still operating as they did before. They're just sort of colliders. And so I'm going to make that 100 while I'm at it here. OK, there we go. Um, let's go to the one that we had, which we had changed, which is this one. 
and then you can see the overrides pops up. And so I'm going to apply this to all of them. So now each of these, okay, should be set to is trigger, and it has been given a tag of pickup. So again, just something really useful. And if I go into my prefabs, right, this one also is now tag pickup. Uh, there it is. And then it has been set to is trigger. So theoretically, all of these should pick up with no problem. Let's just sort of see. Do, do, do. Yeah. So it's looking good. They're all disappearing. I mean, if I want to make sure, again, my, I might even put some more force on my, more speed on my ball here. But the important thing is they're all working there. Good. I think just looking at, they were sort of going into the floor a little bit as well. So I'm just going to take all of those and bump them up to 0.75 just in terms, which makes sense because they were kind of 0.5 units. And so um, that will that will just make sure that they're above the ground. All right. What we'll do next here is because we've got them sort of picking up, we might as well see if we can um, uh, create a variable to hold a score. So the idea being with each pickup, we'll add one to our score. And so not, not too tricky here. Uh, I'm going to go back to my scripts. And so make sure you're in the marble controller. And I'm going to come up to the very top. And I'll make this public again. Um, in reality, there's a bit more, you know, a reason why we would want to um, have them public or ver versus private. But for this purpose here, we'll just make it all public so that it's very visible to us in the um, inspector so that we can just sort of see the value. Now, the value is just going to go up by ones. So I'm going to make that an int, an integer. We don't need any decimals here. And I'll call it score. Now, a very good idea at the start is to set that score probably to zero. Okay unless you want to give a little bit of a head start, uh, zero makes sense here. And then the idea is, well, where are we going to increment or increase the score? And we'll do that when we pick up an object. So I'm going to come down here and where we had the on trigger enter, do, 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 right? We've got pick up and then other dot game object dot set active to false. So we've picked it up. And then the idea here is we could do just like it's suggesting score plus plus, and that will increment the score by one. Now, if you wanted to do, say, give them five points or something, um, you can. we'll have to modify that a little bit. I'll talk about that in a second. But this is the easiest way here to increase it by one. So let's save that and go back to Unity. And once that comes back in, we should see, so just make sure you're on your marble, your player here. Down in here, there's our script. We have a score, and at the moment it's zero. So if I hit play, it should stay at zero, which it is. And then as I collide with these objects, it should go up by one. Okay, so it's working. So we can just double check. I mean, obviously, if I've tried one, it should work with the others because they are identical. So yeah, it all seems to be working fine. Now, the little issue is that we're not getting any feedback, um, you know, visually, there's no score on here. And that's what we'll look at next. This is like a sort of internally adding the score, but there is no score here. Now I did say I would mention if you wanted to go up by fives or something like that, the easiest way is to go score plus equals five. I'll put a little space there to make it prettier. There we go. And um, that way, every time it goes up, it goes up by five. Now sort of the long winded way of doing this, just so I could show you multiple ways is you could say, okay, I'm going to set the score to be whatever the score was, and then say, add on five. All three ways um, can increment the score. The plus plus, obviously, just sort of by one. Um, I find, you know, either if I, know, if I know I'm going up by one, I always just do the plus plus. Conversely, if it was lives, you could do minus minus to um, reduce the score, uh, or lives reduce the lives. Or if you want something that's a little bit... Um, different, right? Like it's not going up by ones. Usually I just do say the plus equals five. So just to sort of show you that, I'm going to go control S this time. Oops, I thought I was going to do control S. There we go, control S. And go back. Go back. There we go. <laughs> and so once this pops up and runs, we can see that my score is zero. And then when I touch that, now I'm up by five. Okay. In the next video, we'll look at uh, doing a couple things. We'll actually wrap things up. Um, we'll put the score up into the um, sort of in the UI, so into the user interface, so that we can see what's going on. And then we'll sort of put up a little sign too that says, 
um, that you've won the game uh, when we collect all the uh, pickups. All right, we'll see you in the next and final video.